Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Shelmet High School Senior Awards Night. Lena Abdelatif, our Student of the Year, will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Lena. Again, welcome and thank you for joining us on this very special night. Even though we are in separate locations, we are together. My name is Carol Munt and I am Assistant Principal at Shamut High School. As we proceed through the awards this evening, you will meet members of our faculty and the guest presenters who have joined us this evening. Tonight is special. We recognize and honor our students who have distinguished themselves academically or work diligently in clubs and organizations. Whatever the case, we are happy to spend the evening highlighting and celebrating their successes. There are many scholarships that have not yet been determined. We will announce those as soon as we receive them. For our award recipients, as your name is called, celebrate at home with your parents. Take pictures of that moment. To begin our presentations, I would like to announce our first awards are going to several of our students who have distinguished themselves academically and invested so much of their time here at Shelmet High School. This is a one-time $1,000 award. It's called the MWM Award. The funds came from a retired teacher who generously donated to Shelmet High School. The recipients of a $1,000 one-time gift are Lena Abdelatif, Grace Bartholomew, Sarah Bourne, Leanne Dacula, Logan Dusang, Ayla Hoey, Connor Kenny, Cindy Solis. Congratulations to each of you and thank you so much for your contributions to Shelmet High School. Good evening. My name is Lisa Marie Brandon and I'm the president of St. Bernard Business and Professional Women's Club. I'm delighted to participate in the virtual award ceremony for the brightest in our parish. St. Bernard Business and Professional Women's Club was chartered in 1961, and for the past 59 years, BPW has been a leader in our community. The program in which we find nearest and dearest to our hearts, and the one in which we have traditionally used our various fundraisers to finance, is our scholarship program. The scholarship committee closely examines applications and chooses the applicants who we think exemplify the ideals of BPW. It is my pleasure to announce the 2020 St. Bernard Business and Professional Women's Club Scholarship recipients, Amaya Brown and Katherine Collins. Congratulations, ladies and congratulations to the Shaman High School class of 2020. Hello class of uh, 2020. Uh, welcome to uh, Senior Awards Night. Uh, this is Mr. Ballard and I just wanted to tell you guys how much uh, I really miss you. Your class holds a special place in my heart. Uh, I've taught so many of you, uh, seen so many of you grow and develop uh, into the amazing leaders, uh, students, innovators uh, that Shawmet High School has to offer. And I just want to tell you how proud I am of you, uh, how much I miss you, how much uh, I'm sad that I'm not there. Uh, I know how difficult this time is for everyone, um, and I can only imagine um, you know, the, the deep sadness and, and regret and, and just powerful emotions that y'all must be feeling. Um, right now, um, you know, where you are, and you're not getting to, you know, sort of have the graduation and the awards night and prom and all those wonderful things uh, that you deserve. Um, but just know that I love you, your administration loves you, your faculty loves you, you're super proud of you. Okay, without further ado, it is uh, my pleasure to introduce to you the five uh, posse recipients from Shelmet High School. Lena Abdelatif, Logan Brewer, <coughs> Angel Shavaria, Chris Lynn McGee, and Jesuit LaFuente. Each of these students will be receiving a four-year full tuition leadership and merit-based scholarship from one of Posse New Orleans partner universities. Posse supports these diverse leaders to become the voice for tomorrow. Lena will be attending the University of Notre Dame, Chris Lynn and Angel will be attending Villanova University, and Jesuit and Logan will be attending Illinois Wesleyan University. 
I could not be prouder of these five students and for all of the class of 2020. I love you guys. I miss you. Be well. It is my pleasure to present the Lauren Sabat Memorial Scholarship. Lauren was a student at Shamit High School from 1992 to 1996. During her sophomore year at CHS, Lauren was diagnosed with leukemia. Despite that, she remained actively involved in all aspects of Shamit High School. She was a four-year member of the cheerleading squad and a participant in various clubs and activities. And she was continually demonstrating her resilience. Often, Lauren would go to the hospital during the day for her chemotherapy or her spinal tap. Yet she would still show up smiling to cheer at a game or attend another school function. When it was deemed necessary for Lauren to receive a bone marrow transplant, she was forced to leave school temporarily in order to travel to Iowa for that procedure. During her physical absence from CHS, Lauren's presence was continually felt. In fact, she was elected student council president her senior year. Students felt strongly about Lauren's dedication to Shaman High School and her determination to return. When she did, she fulfilled students' expectations and did a spectacular job as president of the student council. After graduating in 1996, Lauren spent a year attending Nunez Community College. Sadly, in October of 1997, Lauren's four-year struggle with leukemia ended. Even though she is no longer with us, her legacy as an inspirational leader of CHS Student Council will always be obvious and carried on by our current student leaders. Tonight's recipient of the Lauren Sabat Award is compassionate and is consistently available to share her talents with our community. She creatively inspires us with her bulletin boards about study habits, self-care, and gratitude. She's greeted you over the past few years on Hoot in the Morning and at the Maroon Money Mart. She's a leader that pushes all of those around her to be better in both their thoughts and their actions. She dedicates her time to those in need despite her own personal hardships. It's my honor to announce this year's Lauren Sabat Scholarship goes to Miss Angela Romero Barron. Good evening and congratulations to our 2020 senior class of Shelman High School. My name's Captain Steele, work in the St. Paul Parish Fire Department. I'm also the current president of Local 1468 Professional Firefighters. On September 11, 2001, terrorists ruthlessly attacked our country and murdered almost 3,000 people, including 343 firefighters. It was such a terrible loss to our country that St. Bernard Parish Firefighters Local 1468 felt compelled to do something in their memory. In 2002, we established a scholarship program from the St. Bernard Parish High School seniors funded through the sales of 9-11 memorial bells. This program has continued since 2002, with the exception of the year 2006 due to Hurricane Katrina in 05. We are proud to continue this scholarship program through the generosity of the citizens of St. Bernard Parish. Each of the following two recipients have been chosen by their strong moral character and their dedication to their schoolwork. Each will receive $1,000 scholarship from the local 1468. This year's recipients are Seth Steele and Grace Bartholomew. Congratulations to you two, and congratulations to the entire 2020 senior class of Shelman High School. Hi, I'm Mr. Chauvin. I'm one of the woodworking teachers here at Chalmet High School. And today I'm going to present a very special award. It's the Charles G. Chauvin Vocational Education Award. The award is named after Mr. Chauvin, who was a teacher, mentor, and friend of St. Bernard Parish for over 30 years. And as you may have guessed, he's also my father. He believed in hard work, dedication, loyalty, and above all else, a willingness to help other people. The recipient of this year's award has demonstrated all of those traits and above and beyond that. I'm proud to present the Charles G. Chauvin Vocational Education Award 
to Michael Alfonso III. How y'all doing today? My name is Chris McNamara. I'm the head wrestling coach and assistant football coach here at Charlotte High School. This year I get the honor of presenting the L. Fage Calumet Award, which goes out to the most outstanding male athlete in the graduating class. This year's L. Fage Calumet Award winner goes to an excellent young man who excelled in multiple sports while his time in Charlotte High School. He was a four-year letterman in wrestling and a two-year letterman in track and field. He set multiple records in his time in the wrestling room. He has, he has the most wins ever by a wrestler in an individual season with 49, and he also has the most wins ever in his career with 143. He was voted as the team captain both his junior and senior year. He was the district champion in track and field as well as wrestling. He won the shot put title in track and field, and he claimed the wrestling title twice. He finished his junior season with a fourth place finish in the state tournament, and then followed that up his senior year by finishing third at the state tournament wrestling. He was awarded the most valuable wrestler his junior season when he set the school records. Next year, he will be attending the University of Ozarks where he will continue his wrestling career. We want to wish him the best of luck and he will certainly represent Shawmet High School well. This year's L. Fage Cayouette goes to Dejon Bibbs. I hope everyone is doing well during this crazy time in our lives. I'm Vicki Nusio, one of the volleyball and basketball coaches at Shawmet High School. I am here to recognize one of the best student athletes to walk the halls at Shawmet High School. A little quick story about this young lady. My little sister coached Tara Middle School. She would call me daily and say, Vicki, you have got to come see this girl. She could do anything in any sport. I would always say, okay, okay, but unfortunately, our schedule would make it hard to go and watch. But I was able to make one game. When I left, I knew this girl would become a star at Chalmette for basketball. But when I spoke to her, I realized her personality will drive her to be great in anything she does. And when she got to Shelman High School, that's exactly what she did. Being the outstanding female senior athlete means more than just an award. This athlete has been a team leader on multiple teams and does it with the biggest smile on her face every day. She led us to two undefeated district championships two years in a row for basketball and brought us to our first second round playoff game in over 10 years. Her awards did not go unnoticed. In softball, I watched Elena excel and help her team in anything they needed her to do. In volleyball, Elena received an honorable mention for the district as a freshman, which is a huge accomplishment. She was the named first team all district her senior year while being a great team leader. She was the player that can do it all. Wherever her coaches needed her, she was happy to help the team and never complained. Her coaches will miss her joy and smile tremendously next year. In basketball, Elena received all district all four years of high school. She was also named district MVP during her junior and senior year. This was chosen by the nine schools in our district. Elena was obviously our team MVP during her sophomore, junior, and senior year. Instead of asking for her points after every game, Elena would ask for her steals and assists, and that is what drove her to be her best. In just her senior year, here are Elena's stats. Points, 510. Steals, 76. Assists, 178. Rebounds, 125. Elena was not just a star athlete, but a star student. After every game, she would go thank everyone who watched and cheered for her. Our principal, Mr. Warner, and assistant principal, Ms. Munt, were at most games. After every game, her and all of her teammates would give them the biggest hug and thank them for coming. It made them love it more because they were there to support them. Elena Donaldson accomplished volleyball, softball, and basketball, but most importantly, she accomplished academics. Elena was always taking the AP classes that will help her in college and never complained. She received all of these athletic awards and always maintained over a 4.0 GPA. Wow, what an accomplishment. So many teachers and coaches will miss her, especially me. I wish I can give her this award personally and give her the biggest hug because I and all of the faculty at Shelman High School will miss her tremendously. I would like to announce our 2020 Female Senior Athlete of the Year is Elena Donaldson. Good evening. My name is Emily Boakle, an assistant principal at Shelman High School. This year, it is my pleasure to present the Trudy Foray Memorial Science Award. The Trudy Foray Memorial Science Award was instituted to honor the memory of Ms. Trudy Foray. Ms. Foray served as an outstanding science teacher and chairman of the science department at Andrew Jackson High School. While there, she taught her students a love and true appreciation for the world of science. 
This award is presented to an outstanding science student who enjoys the pursuit of excellence in science and the love of the science world within us all. This year's recipient of the Trudy Foray Memorial Science Award is Mr. Anthony Vu. He is a deserving student who plans to attend Xavier in the fall. Thank you. Our next award is the Candy Ziz Scholarship Award. Candy Ziz was a wonderful teacher at Andrew Jackson. Uh, she was well loved by many, many, many of the students. And her family has decided to give us a scholarship to her name this year. We truly appreciate their efforts to help one of our students in math. The Candy Ziz Award is presented to Sarah Ball. Sarah Ball. Sarah is an exceptional young lady and math student. She is highly motivated, organized, persistent, and possesses great reasoning skills. Sarah never backs down from a challenging math problem, and Sarah always persists in her quest to find a solution. In addition to tackling complex math problems, Sarah has also demonstrated her ability to effectively communicate her solutions and justifications, both verbally and in written form. So congratulations to Sarah. It's also my privilege now to present to you the annual titles winners for this class, the class of 2020. Most likely to succeed, Logan Dusang and Michael Ludwig. Most intelligent, Anthony Vu and Grace Bethalamet. And Mr. Shalmed, Connor Kenny, and Ms. Shalmed, Lena Abdelati. Hello, I am Paul Greffel, president of the St. Bernard Parish Retired Teachers Association. As a 1970 graduate of Shalman High School and a 31 year veteran teacher in this parish, I am extremely honored and personally proud to be with the Shalman High School teachers, staff, parents, and graduates as part of this 2020 recognition ceremony. Congratulations to all the scholarship recipients and others being honored today for your accomplishments. We know that as young men and women, such as those being honored today, who give all of us lasting hope for the future. The St. Bernard Parish Retired Teachers Association believe strongly in young people and want you all to succeed both personally and professionally. We will continue to support education and scholarship programs. It is my pleasure to present this one-time scholarship to Nunez Community College to one distinguished individual on behalf of nearly 200 retired teachers from the parish. Thank you once again for allowing me to participate in your recognition ceremony today. And more importantly, for giving me the opportunity to provide help and recognition for such a young, great scholar. This year's SBPRTA scholarship goes to Duane Carlson Banks Jr. Congratulations, Mr. Banks. We will send you a form through the mail so that you can access your scholarship. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Brenda Bowman, librarian at CHS. And I'm Pat Porsche, retired coach, teacher, and principal of St. Clair Parish Schools. The scholarship given tonight was created in 1999 and serves two purposes. One is a memorial for her mother's work because she loved education, and well, is in the name of the school at which we both work at that time, St. Paul. It is with pride and honor that we present the 20th annual Emperor Porsche SBH Memorial Scholarship to two outstanding young people who have been involved as leaders in their academic endeavors as well as leaders in extracurricular activities as club members or club officers. They have also given back to their communities through their volunteers. Tonight, our scholarship total 
Congratulations, ladies, and continue to reach for the stars. On March 10th of this year, Latin students participated in the National Latin Exam. Both our Latin IV students won awards. It is appropriate that I mention both of them together. Both students, Faith Johnson and Connor Kenny, enrolled in Latin III in the fall semester and Latin IV in the spring. Both of them went above and beyond the demands of the curriculum to achieve success, often working together and challenging each other toward common goals. Each one helped the other through rigorous intellectual discussions and work product. Faith Johnson and Connor Kenny have been awarded magna cum laude certificates for the Latin IV prose exam. Good evening. Each year, the school board members and the superintendent personally donate funds to establish scholarship to be given to an outstanding graduate senior. Tonight's recipient of this scholarship is a young lady who has distinguished herself academically through her four years here. In addition to excelling as a student, she has been an active member in many clubs and organizations. She is currently a senior class officer and a student council officer. She's been recognized as a terrific dean and was a maid on this year's homecoming court. She is truly invested in Shaman High. Logan Desain is the recipient of School Board Member Scholarship. Hello, my name is Catherine Lemoyne, a school board member and a board member of the Voices Foundation, a nonprofit committed to promoting the arts and education in our community. On behalf of our other board members, Will Schneider, Rhonda DeForest, and Barry Lemoyne, it is my pleasure to present the Voices Performance Award, named after a dear friend, Pam Wegener an incredibly kind and gifted musical performer. The recipient of tonight's award is an outstanding performer and student who played many roles in her career, excelling in acting, singing, dancing, and stage combat. With plans to double major in kinesiology and vocal performance at Southeastern University, we are honored to present the Voices Performance Award in Pam Wegener's name in the amount of $1,000 to Shalmet High Senior, Raina Oggs. Congratulations. Good evening, Shaman High Class of 2020. I'm Holly Landry, and it's my pleasure to be here tonight to represent the counseling staff of Shaman High School. Uh, I'm here to also um, present the Shaman High Faculty Award, which is a combination of donations from the faculty and staff of Shaman High. This year, the faculty and staff are able to award five awards in the amount of $500 each. The awards tonight go to Madison Basto, Malak Gaber, Michael Ludwig, David Meyer, and Maria Morales Alfaro. Congratulations, go Class of 2020. The High Flying Owls Award is based on a grant from the High Flying Owls Foundation, which allows our teacher committee to award students who, through academic and participation, truly embody the meaning of a Shaman High School student. This award is a $1,500 one-time scholarship, and this is presented to Mikkel Sexton and Michael Williams. Good evening. Tonight, five scholarships will be awarded to seniors who plan to pursue a degree in the medical field. This scholarship will be awarded through the David C. Nez Jr. Foundation in an effort to give back to a community who gave so much to this family in their time of need. In 2007, Dave was diagnosed with a rare brain tumor. Although he underwent surgery and radiation in 2007, the tumor came back in 2010. When the tumor reappeared, the St. Bernard Parish community rallied together, raising money to help pay for his medical expenses, and the David C. Nez Jr. Foundation was formed. Dave would continue to battle his brain tumor for four more years, gaining his angel wings in 2014. Over the past six years, the foundation has donated to others battling brain tumors just like Dave in an effort to lessen the financial burden. 
The foundation has also donated to the medical team at MD Anderson, whose compassion and expertise provided the family with support and hope throughout Dave's battle. On behalf of our biology teacher here at Shelman High School, Ms. Lindy Sinez, and her son Preston Sinez, tonight we will award five $1,000 David Sinez Jr. Foundation Scholarships to the following recipients. Quinn Tran, Ayla Hoey, Sarah Bourne, Katie Jovell, and Mallory Smith. Congratulations. Good evening parents, guardians, and seniors. My name is William Schneider and I'm an assistant principal here at Shawmet High School. And I am here on behalf of Miss Faith Moran to present the Daughters of the American Revolution Award. The Daughters of the American Revolution Good Citizen Contest enables a high school student the opportunity to be recognized for their outstanding qualities of dependability, service, leadership, and patriotism. The Francois de Leary chapter, Daughters of the American Revolution, is proud to present this certificate of participation to Mr. Connor Joseph Kenny. It is also my pleasure to be here tonight as president of the Chalmette High School Alumni Association. The Alumni Association was established several years ago with the sole purpose to raise funds for Chalmette High School. Through the association's endeavors, we are able to give at least one scholarship to a deserving senior each year. This year, the Chalmette High School Alumni Association proudly presents our one-time $500 scholarship to this year's deserving senior, Mr. Jonathan Ludwig. Congratulations, Jonathan, and go Owls. I'm Wayne Warner. It's my privilege to be the principal of Chalmette High School, and tonight I have several awards to present. The St. Bernard Parish Employees Federal Credit Union has funded two scholarships this year. Each award is a one-time $1,000 scholarship. Recipients are both athletes of great character as evidenced through the consistently complimentary comments of their coaches as to their character, determination, and tenacity. Other teachers consistently comment on their genial disposition and politeness. Their teachers are impressed by their willingness to help others in their classes. We wish them both well as they leave us to continue their education. Tonight's St. Bernard Parish Employees Federal Credit Union scholarships go to Jaden Ben and Jalen Ben, $1,000 scholarship recipients. Our next award is a special award we present every year. Uh, this award is presented to seniors who have perfect attendance. Uh, these are the students who, whether you want them there or not, they show up. And uh, sometimes our teachers say, well, it would be great to have a day off, but not with these students. They were always at school. We honor tonight four seniors for four years' perfect attendance. Connor Kenny, Julie Laris, Anthony Vu, and Destiny Wesley. Congratulations to those students. The next scholarship is the Joseph Davies Scholarship. This award is presented to a young lady who lives her life by teaching life lessons to those around her by living her own life in a beautiful way. She is a constant source of graciousness and humility as she offers her best self to all around her. She encourages her peers. She compliments her teachers on lessons well done and thanks them for enlightening her academically. Also, she has invested in all that we ever as a school have to offer. From memberships and officerships and clubs to success in academically challenging courses, she is a true leader and an exceptionally caring young woman. Being of the Joseph Davies Scholarship is our Student of the Year, Lena Abdella Tiff. Well, good evening. I'm Doris Foche, the superintendent of St. Bernard Parish Public Schools, and it is my privilege tonight to present several scholarships. The first is the Joseph Cardo Scholarship, which was established in 1970 by his widow to honor his memory and his firm and unwavering commitment to excellence in public education in St. Bernard Parish. This award is presented to a young lady who has dedicated her high school life to academic success. She is a four-year member of the Academic Games team and won national awards at that level. 
She's also a member of the Beta Club, the Shelman High School Ambassadors, and the Key Club. She has served in the Oshner Summer Volunteers Program, has been named a terrific teen, and has been recognized nationally as an Advanced Placement Scholar of Distinction. Tonight's Joseph Accardo Scholarship winner is Miss Leanne Dacular. The Betty Polk Moody Scholarship has been established in memory of a person whose entire life has itself been one of total dedication to education, particularly the education of those students who attended Shelmet High School during the 28 years she served as a business teacher and assistant principal. Her enthusiasm and untiring efforts helped to make Shelmet High School truly a school of champions. The young lady receiving this award tonight has diverse interests as evidenced by the variety of clubs she has joined. She is a four-year member of the tech crew, serving as head of the lights crew, a three-year member of Shelmet High Ambassadors and Student Council, a two-year member of the Beta Club and the Japanese Culture Club, and also anchors the Owl Watch News. Ever outgoing, smiling, and willing to help with any task, she is most deserving of this award. Please join me in congratulating the 2020 recipient of the Betty Polk Moody Scholarship, Ms. Jenna Reese. It is my honor and privilege to present the Al Waller Scholarship, which has been established by his widow to honor his memory and dedication to the students of Shelmet High School. Mr. Waller served over 30 years as a teacher and assistant principal at Shelmet High. Most importantly, he was a mentor to teachers as well as students and community members. He helped start the Pride Platoon at Shelmet High and provided many job opportunities for students within the community. Tonight's recipient of this award, like Mr. Waller, is one of those go-to guys. Ask him to do anything and he is there to get the job done and done well. His main interest is the theater and he has given of his talents to every production Shalmet High School Live has offered over the years. He is also a member of the CHS Voices a two-year member of PBIS Teens, has been named a terrific teen, and has served as a homecoming escort. Serious, too, about his studies, he is also a nationally recognized Advanced Placement Scholar. His contributions to Shalmet High in many ways have earned him this honor. The 2020 recipient of the Al Waller Scholarship is Devin Cruz. Dear students, on behalf of the Arlene and Joseph Miro Charitable Foundation, I would like to extend our most sincere congratulations. I can only imagine how disappointing it must be to miss out on the typical end of year celebrations. But I want you to know that our entire community is very proud of your achievements. While especially now the future seems so uncertain, we are counting on you and your talents to make it even brighter. You are tomorrow's leaders, and judging by intelligence, innovation, humility, and resilience that I've seen you demonstrate, I am confident that you will go on to do great things to make your mark on this world. It is our hope and belief that you will help move our community forward. You know St. Bernard Parish is a wonderful place in which to grow up, and you play an important role in extending that privilege onto future generations. You are our health care providers, our elected officials, our craftspeople, business owners, engineers, chefs, artists, and entrepreneurs. You represent the promise the future holds, and I urge you to make the most of it. To help you along the way, as we do each year, we are proud to award scholarships to 60 of this year's St. Paul Parish Public High School graduates. 
that I could do with all of you this evening. I miss seeing Miss Roche, Mr. Warner, Miss Munt, and Mr. Duggar. But please remember that this isn't just St. Bernard, nor the state of Louisiana. It is the whole world. We are all in this together, and hopefully we will all come out stronger. And to the class of 2020, congratulations and to your dreams. Thank you, Ms. Gu. The first scholarships that we will present tonight are the six vocational scholarships. These are awarded to Seth Braniff, Brooklyn Casanova, Savannah DeWent, Alejandro Jasso Mendez, Katie Mahler, and Sarah Stanich. Four Miro Foundation Art Scholarship recipients are Josie Othman, Elijah Geeting, Layla Holloman, and Raina Oggs. Congratulations. The next 50 scholarships are awarded to students who have demonstrated strong academic promise, earning some of the top GPAs and ACT scores of their senior class while taking on rigorous coursework. Those 50 recipients are Lena Abdelatif, Maria Alshi, Yasmin Allen, Ava Araby, Courtney Acevedo, Grace Bartholome, Krista Bazile, Chance Beck, Mackenzie Bonvillain, Sarah Bourne, Logan Brewer, Amani Brown, Ann Bowie, Angel Chevaria, John Clark, Devin Cruz, Leanne Dacula, Lily Dom, Evan DeLon, Amber DeSells, Alana Donaldson, Logan Dusang, Trinity Fry, Leonardo Garcia Espinal, Daniela Gonzalez Chavez, Truck Hong, Ayla Hoey, Rebecca Joachim, Katie Jovell, Connor Kenny, Jesuit Lafonte, Jessica LaRocca, Gabrielle Lapine, Jonathan Ludwig, Melise Marks, David Meyer, Bailey Milborn, Kaylee Paradin, Faith Reagan, Jenna Reese, Jennifer Rivera Hernandez, Angela Romero Barron, Luke Rizuski, Marcelina Santa Marina, 
Mikhail Sexton, Mallory Smith, Cindy Solis, Elena Template, Quinn Tran, and Anthony Vu. Congratulations to these 50 recipients. Good evening. I'm Tom Duggar, and I'm here to present the Golden Owls. Golden Owls. What is it to be golden? Gold itself, one of the most precious metals, is initially hidden in the earth until it is brought forth and acted upon to make it shiny and valuable. It is always there. It just has to be discovered and acted upon. If it is not, then it doesn't reveal its value. The same is true of people. We all have gold within us. But like the gold that is hidden initially in the earth, the gold within people is hidden within them. And it must be discovered and acted upon to show its value. In our coronavirus controlled world, we are living in an age of golden people. Medical personnel of all types, first responders, grocery store employees, truck drivers, the list goes on. These are people who in the face of a particular situation, step up, stand out, and play their parts faithfully and with much giving of themselves in face of a risk involved. And we as a society salute them and recognize the goal within them being brought out and acted upon. And so it is with schools. There are students who attend schools who step up and stand out and play their parts faithfully and with much giving of themselves. They provide a service to their fellow students. They do more than many of their peers. They shine in various ways, be it academic, performance, leadership, athletic, or character. These students are fully engaged in the life of their school, and they make unique contributions to what makes their school what it is. Here at Chalmette High, we have such students. Each year, we recognize some of those as their senior year draws to its close. For the class of 2020, their senior year drew to its close in an unprecedented way, which robbed them of their traditional end of senior year events, events that many of them had looked forward to for years. That was unfair to them, but it was a situation that was out of anyone's control. And maybe it was their first real lesson of what adult life is. It isn't always what you want it to be. And you have to learn to adapt. Well, seniors, you're not going to be robbed of the awarding of the Golden Owl Awards. I am here to present these awards to those who have made the sacrifices, made the contributions, displayed the character, and shown the leadership and involvement that gave CHS life. Tonight, we will bestow the Golden Owl for the 32nd time. Begun in 1989, the Golden Owls are nominated by and voted on by the faculty of Chalmette High. This year, the process was underway before our March 13th shutdown, and so we continued the process online via email. Voting by mail has come to St. Bernard. Many of our teachers took time out of their social distancing to think of you, support you, and vote for you for the Golden Owl. Votes were tallied and a list was sent to a committee of the administration who looked at where the natural breaks occurred in the list of tallies and decided tonight to award 13 Golden Owls. There is no significance to the order of their presentation. The whole point is for people watching to guess who the winners are before their names are announced. And I put them in an order that will make the guessing more challenging. To the parents of tonight's winners, this award is one they would and should share with you. You too have made sacrifices and made their contributions to Chalmette High School possible. They are golden because you raised them to be golden. To us the faculty, we are the ones who polished that gold to a high shine. We feel like these kids are our kids too in many ways and we have worked with them as their parents have worked with them to become the young ladies and gentlemen they have polished up to be. And so, your faculty too shares the celebration of what you have accomplished in your years here. 
Of course, not every golden senior can be recognized by such an award. Its limited nature makes it the more desirable and meaningful. But that does not diminish the gold that we see in many other members of the class of 2020. It just came down to how a majority of the faculty saw members of this class. And so, we turn now to the awarding of the Golden Owls of 2020. Our first Golden Owl goes to a senior who lives the motto, Be All You Can Be. This senior was seemingly part of everything at Chalmette. This winner was a three-year winner of academic awards, the Triple Crown, Latin and English, a four-year member of the Beta Club, a four-year member of the Book Chat Club, a four-year member of CHS Ambassadors, a four-year member of Hand in Hand Club, a two-year member of Interact, a three-year member of Key Club, a one-year member of the Magnum Opus staff, a four-year member of Mu Alpha Theta, a four-year member of PBIS Teens, a two-year member of the Philosophy Club, a two-year member of Student Council, a two-year member of the Tennis Team. In nominating this senior, one faculty member wrote in comment, quote, she represents a rare type of student who participated in a wide variety of activities, events, and with a sharp wit melded with some bona fide humility and genuine care for others. She is also a stellar student who's willing to help others and share her knowledge as well as gain more by her interactions with them. Even though she has won numerous awards, she remains grounded and relatable to her fellow peers. She is a renaissance young lady." End quote. She was a recipient of the Martin Luther King Jr. Essay Contest in her sophomore year, National Latin Award recipient her junior year, she was the most valuable student in ninth grade. She was team manager and one-year letterman for the tennis team, public relations officer for Magnum Opus, secretary, treasurer, and then president of the Hand in Hand Club, secretary, then vice president of the Book Chat Club, an anchor for the Owl Watch News, participant in Girls State, president of the student council, president of the senior class, 2019 homecoming queen, and the 2019-2020 Student of the Year. Our first Golden Owl this evening is presented to Ms. Lena Abdelatif. The second Golden Owl recognizes a senior who is a performer. Overall, she was a four-year member of the Book Chat Club, two-year member of CHS Ambassadors, three-year member of CHS Live, and a one-year member of CHS Voices. One of her nominating ballots carried this teacher observation. Quote, she applies herself fully to anything that she commits to and does so with a great positive attitude and a beautiful quality of gracefulness. She is lovely to have in class and she shines in her many after school and extracurricular commitments, end quote. She played the waitress in The Government Inspector, Emily Craddock in Murdered to Death, and Susanna Richardson in Laughing Stock. She was twice named Student of the Week, and she is a terrific teen. Our second Golden Owl was presented this evening to Ms. Michael Sextion. Golden Owl number three goes to a senior who stands out in academic endeavors and school service. She was a four-year recipient of academic awards, keyboarding, triple crown, AP assessment, ACT Performance and Maroon Award, a four-year member of the Beta Club, a four-year member of CHS Ambassadors, a two-year member of Interact Club, a three-year member of the Key Club, a four-year member of Mu Alpha Theta, a four-year member of PBIS Teens, a three-year member of the Science Club, a one-year member of the Softball Team, four-year member of the Student Council, one-year member of TV Production Crew, manager of the Softball Team. A teacher comment summed her up this way, quote, she is the most deserving of seniors for a golden owl. Each and every day she comes to Chalmette High ready to learn and lead. In all that she does, she demonstrates insight, compassion, and resolve. Her willingness to undertake any challenge thrown her way is even more remarkable, and she always does so with grace, thoughtfulness, and determination. She was treasurer in 10th and president in 11th of the Science Club. She is secretary of the Beta Junior Year and president of the Beta Club Senior Year. 
She participated in RILA junior year. She is recording secretary of the senior class. She's a student of the week and a terrific team. Our third Golden Owl this evening is presented to Ms. Mallory Smith. This next Golden Owl, our fourth, gives back to a senior who focused on service type activities. She was a three-year member of the Beta Club, four-year member of CHS Ambassadors, two-year member of Driven Club, two-year member of the Interact Club, one-year member of Key Club, one-year member of Magnum Opus staff, three-year member of PBIS Teens, a one-year member of the girls' soccer team, and a two-year member of Student Council. One nominating teacher said of her, quote, it's hard to put down in words how much she deserves this award. She is able to pull together a variety of students at any time. She worked tirelessly to make volunteers and buddies feel connected and producing during the three years of our community has had brushes, buddies, and beyond autism. She anticipates the needs of others and always in ways that she can. She is gracious and empathetic. Seriously, over the past four years, many projects at CHS would have fallen through had it not been for her efforts." End quote. She was a recipient of the Tulane Book Award her junior year, three times named Student of the Week. She was an ACT Recognitions Award winner, an AP Award winner, and she is Vice President of the Beta Club, past Vice President of the Interact Club, Vice President of PBIS Teens, and Vice President of the Student Council. Our fourth Golden Owl this evening is presented to Ms. Angela Romero Barron. For Golden Owl number five, we return to the world of theater. This performing senior was a one-year recipient of academic awards, the Luis Baños Award in Spanish, a three-year member of the Beta Club, a four-year member of CHS Ambassadors, a four-year member of CHS Voices, a three-year member of Hand in Hand, a two-year member of the Japanese Cultural Club, a two-year member of the Key Club, and a four-year member of Mu Alpha Theta. His nominations included the following comment, quote, he is a great example of a golden owl, kind, smart, respectful, polite, talented, genuine, and dependable. As an alum golden owl myself, he is a student that I would love to welcome into the ranks of the golden owls that came before him. He truly embodies what it means to be the top owl. Not only is he a posse recipient, but he is academically gifted, a hard worker. He is a wonderful example of how the owls should be known in the world beyond. In the present and in the future, he will represent us well." End quote. He is treasurer of the Beta Club, member of the Varsity Chorale, twice named Student of the Week, a terrific teen, and has four years perfect attendance. Our fifth Golden Owl this evening is presented to Mr. Jesuit La Fuente. This next Golden Owl goes to a senior who is academically competitive. She was a four-year recipient of academic awards, a four-year participant in academic games, a four-year member of Beta Club, a four-year member of CHS Ambassadors, a four-year member of Key Club, a one-year member of the Science Club. She was nominated by a teacher who labeled her this way, quote, she is a solid owl, quiet but involved, intelligent and kind, a great student, an amazing artist, helps with Special Olympics, has been on the academic games team and national participant for years, a major contributor to school events like Owl Week. Overall, I'm simply honored to have taught her and sorry to see her go, but proud to have her out there representing us. End quote. She is a four-year Asian American Lions Club volunteer, a four-year participant in the Filipino folk dance. She's the Ochsner Summer Volunteer Program in 10th grade. She's a national Latin exam cum laude in the 11th grade, an AP Scholar with Distinction Award, an Academic Games National Awards first place team propaganda in 11th year, second place team and presidents her 10th grade year, third place individual propaganda her 11th grade year, the top 10 individual in presidents 11th year, and the top 10 individual in 10th grade. She's a four-year all week volunteer. She's a student of the week, a terrific teen, and public relations officer of the Science Club. Our sixth Golden Owl is presented this evening to Ms. Leanne Dacula. 
Golden Owl number no. seven honors a student who performs on both the athletic field and the theatrical stage. She is a one-year participant in academic games, three-year member of the Beta Club, four-year member of CHS Ambassadors, one-year member of CHS Live, four-year member of CHS Voices, two-year member of the cross-country team, one-year member of Interact Club, two-year member of Japanese Cultural Club, four-year member of PBIS Teens, a two-year member of the Philosophy Club, a one-year member of the Science Club, a four-year member of the Girls Soccer, a two-year member of Student Council, a one-year member of the Swim Team, and a three-year member of the Tennis Team. She is a remarkable young lady, one of her nominating teachers wrote, who is hardworking in whatever she does, even if she is exhausted. She is a wonderful leader in the classroom, in athletics, in other extracurricular activities, and in social peer groups. She makes herself visible in such a way as to be exceedingly helpful without overshadowing the people around her." End quote. She played the manager of the inn and the government inspector. She is 2019-2020 district champ in cross country, 2018-29 runner-up. She's communications director for the student council, captain of the girls soccer team, twice named student of the week, and a terrific teen. Our seventh golden owl this evening is presented to Ms. Chris Lynn McGee. Our eighth golden owl returns us to a senior who shines in the academic world and in a service to the school and community. She is a four-year winner of academic awards, Maroon Award, Triple Crown, AP and ACT awards, a four-year member of academic games, a three-year member of Book Chat Club, four-year member of the CHS Ambassadors, a one-year member of CHS Voices, a one-year member of the Interact Club, a three-year member of Key Club, a one-year member of Magnum Opus staff, a three-year member of Mu Alpha Theta, a three-year member of PBIS Teens, a one-year member of Student Council, a one-year member of the Tennis Team, a one-year member of the Psychology Club, and a four-year Owl Week mural contributor. A ballot nominating her proclaimed in part, quote, she is an amazing, intelligent, and kind young lady, end quote. She's a three-time student of the week, a member of the Student Council Executive Council, ambassador for PBIS Teens, copy editor for Magnum Opus, a terrific teen, and a participant in Girls State. Our eighth Golden Owl is presented this evening to Ms. Grace Bartholomew May. Hold up. Might want to do that again because I'm... She is a three-time student of the week, a member of the Student Council, Executive Council, Ambassador for PBIS Teens, Copy Editor for Magnum Opus, Terrific Teen, and a participant in Girls State. Our eighth Golden Owl is presented this evening to Ms. Grace Bartholome. For this next Golden Owl, we recognize a senior whom we recognize as a start to our mornings at CHS. He is a one-year recipient of academic awards, the National Latin Exam, a three-year member of the Beta Club, a three-year member of Mu Alpha Theta, a one-year member of the Student Council, and a four-year member of the tennis team. He was nominated by a teacher who gave him the following accolade, quote, he is one of the hardest working students I have ever had the pleasure of working with, even before he enrolled in one of my classes. He is dedicated to whatever task or situation he finds himself in, alone or in groups. He is a determined young man who will continue to succeed, lead, and be of service in a variety of ways. He is PBS coordinator for Student Council. He was twice named Student of the Week. He was a homecoming court escort. He was a participant in Boys State. He has four years perfect attendance. He is an anchor for the Owl Watch News and he was just recently appointed to attend West Point Academy in the fall. Our ninth Golden Owl is presented this evening to Mr. Connor Kenny. Rounding out our first 10 Golden Owls, we come to a senior who is a one-year recipient of academic awards in geometry in ninth grade, a three-year member of the Beta Club, a three-year member of CHS Ambassadors, a two-year member of Driven Club, a one-year member of Interact Club, a three-year member of the Key Club, a two-year member of Mu Alpha Theta, a one-year member of PBIS Teens, a two-year member of Reach Club, and a two-year member of the Student Council. 
One of the teachers who nominated her wrote the following, quote, she is an incredibly bright and caring student. She has aspirations to follow in her mother's footsteps to become a teacher. I know by her character and passion that she will be a dedicated and empathetic teacher. Her future students will be fortunate to be in her class, end quote. She is secretary of the Beta Club, a maid on the homecoming court, a student of the week, a terrific teen, secretary of the student council, and corresponding secretary of the senior class. Our 10th Golden Owl is presented to Ms. Logan Dusang. Moving along to Golden Owl number 11, we honor a senior who was a two-year member of the Beta Club, four-year member of CHS Tech Crew, three-year member of CHS Ambassadors, two-year member of Driven Club, three-year member of Hand in Hand Club, two-year member of Japanese Cultural Club, two-year member of the Key Club, two-year member of the Philosophy Club, and a three-year member of the Student Council. A nomination for her bore the inscription, quote, she is a key part of CHS as well. She has done lighting for the past four years for every major event at CHS and St. Bernard Parish via CHS Tech Crew, end quote. She is an anchor for the All Watch News. She is head of lights crew for CHS Tech Crew. She is student affairs officer for the Student Council. Our 11th Golden Owl this evening is presented to Ms. Jenna Reese. This next Golden Owl recognizes a senior who makes the word participant have meaning. She is a one-year winner of an academic award, ninth grade English. She's a three-year member of the Beta Club, a four-year member of the Book Chat Club, a four-year member of CHS Ambassadors, a two-year member of Interact, a four-year member of Key Club, a one-year member of Mu Alpha Theta, a three-year member of PBIS Teens, a one-year member of the Student Council. One of her nominating teachers cited her as, quote, an amazing senior who has given so much to Chalmette High over her four years here. She has been involved in many clubs and activities that support our school and community. She is a talented graphic artist as well and has contributed much of her artistic skill to Owl Week each year and has been the exclusive designer of the Book Chat Club member shirts for the last four years by vote of the members." End quote. She has one year perfect attendance. She's a student of the week a terrific teen, a member of the Student Council Executive Board her senior year. She's co-secretary 9th grade, vice president 10th grade, president 11th grade, and secretary 12th grade of the Book Chat Club. She's the 10th grade representative, 11th grade treasurer, and 12th grade bulletin editor and vice president of the Key Club. Our 12th Golden Owl is presented this evening to Ms. Ann Bowie. And with our 13th Golden Owl, we ring down the curtain on the 2020 ceremony. So it is fitting that we end in the theater. This senior is a four-year member of CHS Live, four-year member of CHS Voices, two-year member of PBIS Teens, a one-year member of the Student Council, and an AP Scholar. A teacher characterized this senior in this way on a nomination form, quote, he is a great example of a Golden Owl. He is sure to go far. He is smart, swift, and always ready to stand up for what he believes in. He is kind-hearted and compassionate towards those he cares about. He is naturally gifted in many ways and realizes the value of hard work. This owl is the embodiment of what Shalmet High's academic program has sought to teach and train its students. He is a creative and critical thinker who has mastered the art of gathering evidence, forming an opinion, and supporting a passionate stance. He has conquered many challenges, defined many goals for his life, and has a plan to achieve them." End quote. He is a terrific teen. He was a homecoming court escort. He played Cootie the Drunk in Robin Hood, Constable Number 4 in The Government Inspector, Colonel Craddock in Murdered to Death, and Richfield Hawksley in Laughingstock. He also played several parts in CHS Voices shows and CHS Summer Academy shows, including Guys and Dolls and Once Upon a Mattress. And he was scheduled to play the leading role of J. Pierpont Finch in the spring production of How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying before the COVID-19 pandemic shut down production. Golden Owl number 295, our 13th overall, is presented this evening to Mr. Devin Cruz. 
And so we recognize and celebrate these 13 golden owls and all of the golden seniors at Chalmette who made things happen during their four years here. The ending of your senior year wasn't conventional. But then, when did your class do things the conventional way? You had an ending that was messed up, but it was one you will talk about and reminisce about in years to come. And so to the winners of this award tonight, and on behalf of the faculty of Chalmette High School, I wish to tell you that we are proud of you. You made this year shine because you shone. And let the gold in you benefit all. We love you and we will miss you. Chalmette High will never be the same again without you. But now that you have found the gold in you, don't let it be hidden ever again. Shine for all the ages. Ladies and gentlemen, the Golden Owls of 2020.